let's let's start first things first here, since I know you are a huge Sam Darnold guy. That you, yeah, the, yeah. The, the Fletch comment is not the only reason why I wanted to have you on the show. Uh, you are a huge Sam Darnold guy. Are you concerned based on what you saw last night, Daniel? Um, you know what's interesting? I watched tape this morning, and you see, you know, obviously the mechanical stuff. Zolak was, you know, having a little too much fun with it, but he was, you know, he was throwing off his back foot a bunch, which he's done successfully at times. But um, I think that's a good reminder that he needs to clean that stuff up. I think that's something he can fix. Um, there's uh, protection issues with this team. There's a couple of interceptions. There's miscommunication uh, down the field. So, look, I, I'm I'm going to step back a little bit and say this is a Patriots thing more so than it is a Jets thing. And let's let's let Sam Darnold, you know, get some games if you look at their schedule. I think we'll have a better feel for him. Um, yeah, four or five weeks from now. But man, he looks so good against the Cowboys. And then this was by far the worst effort of his career. But Rich, I, I was uh, I was bored this morning, so I looked this up because I was thinking about Bill Belichick and the state of New York. Mm -hmm. So this year they've played the Jets twice, the Bills, and the Giants. The quarterbacks, the starting quarterbacks in those four games are 51 for 113 for 498 yards, one touchdown, 11 interceptions, and 14 sacks. Mm -hmm. Is that good? You know what, Daniel? It's it's. Let's just put it this way, subpar. Um, but let's put Josh <laughs> Allen and the Bills aside since the Bills almost did, in fact, get the Patriots that day despite yeah. – despite, um, you know, not being able to move the ball. Over. Right, exactly. Um, sticking on the Donald uh, issue, you know, yeah. saying it is a Patriots thing is still a Jets thing because the Jets need to get through the Patriots thing in order for the Jets to become a thing that they need to be with Sam Darnold in their midst. I mean, this is the supposed crown jewel here. And mm -hmm. they are not they, – they, they brought a new coach in to handle it. Um, and now they have a new general manager with whom you're very close with Joe Douglas. What do you think Joe Douglas is thinking this morning? Can you give me a little bit of his insight? Because there has to be some sort of positive movement. Otherwise, there is a danger of Darnold regressing, Daniel. Yeah, no, look, and I always want to point this out with Joe, and, and I've known Joe for a long time. He's been a good friend. There's nobody I respect more in personnel than Joe Douglas. Joe took this job after the draft. So the roster you see on the field right now does not have Joe Douglas's fingerprints on it. So he's going to get a chance to improve this roster. And, you know, somebody asked me this the other day, Rich, and I said, Joe needs to have a Noah's Ark off season. He needs two of everything. He needs two pass rushers, two tackles, two corners. I mean, uh, this roster is not great. And you saw it. Look, when Sam wasn't out there, um, this team, this team couldn't get a first down. I mean, it's, it's, it's it's in terms of the gap between them and the Patriots, it's significant. Um, but I, I do think that Joe, given you know a couple of years here, is going to be able to, to get the pieces in place. And and really, to me, it starts with the two tackles and and getting two edge rushers. I think that's a glaring weakness on this team right now. For more of the Rich Eisen show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen show app.